Hello viewers, this is Wagda Ronald taking you through this tutorial for A-Level Applied Mathematics. In this video, I'm going to go through the questions on motion on the inclined plane involving an external horizontal force. So this topic is still under mechanics and is suitable for students in Senior 5 and Senior 6 offering principal mathematics as part of their combination. Now these are the very questions I left in the previous video, so I believe by now you have already tried them out and ready to mark yourself and check your progress. So we shall start with question 1 which came from UNEB 2001, paper 2, question 5 and it says, A particle of mass 5 kilograms is placed on a smooth plane, not that word smooth plane, inclined at arctan of 1 over root 3. To the horizontal find the magnitude of the force acting horizontally know that word horizontally required to keep the particle in equilibrium and the normal reaction to the plane so the first thing to do is shall have to make a sketch so let f be the required horizontal force then the angle will be actan of 1 over root 3 which is 30 degrees. Therefore now we can make our particle on an incline of 30 degrees. We have to remember that the weight, the mass is 5 kilograms, therefore the weight is 5g acting vertically downwards. Then the component of this weight parallel to the plane will be 5g sin theta, sin 30. Then the component of the weight perpendicular to the plane will be 5g cos 30. And the normal reaction will be capital R. They told us that this, the plane is smooth, implying that there is no resistance. Therefore, we have to put a horizontal force to keep the particle in equilibrium. So, horizontal force will be that. I think we see that it is horizontal because this it is parallel to this base which is horizontal. Now we also have to resolve this force part of the plane and perpendicular to the plane. Now part of the plane it will be f, f cos 30 degrees. Now why is it so? It is because this angle and this angle are the same because they are alternating angles. So this will also be 30. Now remember that where the angle lies becomes cos. So this angle is lying along the plane meaning that the component of the weight part of the plane will be will have a cos which is now f cos 30 then perpendicular to the plane it will become f sin 30 degrees so now before we go to the next slide let's see how mass can be awarded so b1 will be for the correct first diagram drawn with a ruler So part A, for part A they asked, so here they asked that find find the magnitude of the force acting horizontal, so they want the value of F. We are going to first resolve parallel to the plane. So when I resolve parallel to the plane, you realize that this, because this is in equilibrium, so this 5G sign 30 will be equal to f cos 30 degrees so f cos 30 degrees equal to 5g sin 30 degrees therefore when i substitute for g and i make f the subject f will be 28.2902 newtons Then for part B, remember they asked for the force which we have got, then also asked for the normal reaction. So let's also go to normal reaction. Now for normal reaction, we have to resolve perpendicular to the plane. So when I resolve perpendicular to the plane, it implies that this R will be equal to these two forces. So I'll come here and say that R is equal to F sine 30 degrees plus 5G cos 30 
degrees. So I know the value of f, so I'll come and substitute for f and for g to come up with this line and therefore when I use the calculator I'll come up with my r as 56.5803 newtons. So basically that's what they wanted and now let's see how marks can be awarded. So this M1 for substitution, A1 for output, M1 substitution, A1 output. So basically that's how the five marks could come about. Now we shall go to question two, which came from your neb 2010, paper two, question five, and says, a carton of mass three kilograms rests on a rough inclined plane, on a rough plane inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. The coefficient of friction between the carton and the plane is one over three. Find a horizontal force that should be applied to make the carton just, know that word just, about to move up the plane. So just means that it's not yet moved, it has not yet moved, but it's at the point of moving. So let F be the required horizontal force. Therefore, we can come and put our particle on an inclined plane of 30 degrees. Then remember that the mass is 3 kilograms, therefore weight will be 3G. Then the component of this weight part of the plane will be 3G sine 30 degrees. And the component perpendicular of the plane will be 3G cos 30 degrees. Then the normal reaction will be capital R. But the total it is rough and at the point of moving upwards. So the horizontal force which is required will be capital F and think we see that it's horizontal and in other words part of this horizontal line. So that means a horizontal force. Then you also have to resolve it part of the plane to be F cos 30 degrees and perpendicular to the plane it will be F sine 30 degrees. Then at the point of moving upwards, so acceleration will be 0 meters per second squared. Because at the point of moving upwards, it implies that friction will be at the point it will be, it will act in the direction downward along the line of greatest slope, so it will be that mu r in the downward direction. So before we go to the next slide, we shall give B1 for the correct force diagram. Remember, they want us to get the horizontal force that should be applied, so they want us to get the value of F that should be applied to make the body just about to move. So resolving perpendicular the plane gives R equal to F sine 30 degrees plus 2G cos 30. What about resolving part of the plane? So resolving part of the plane, we shall come up with F cos. So I think let's first see it, how it comes about. So resolving perpendicular to the plane will be this force will be equal to these two forces. What about parallel? Parallel means that these two forces will be equal to this force. So then that's what we have written here. Therefore, when I substitute for R, remember R is F sine 30 plus 3G cos 30, so I'll come and substitute for that. Then also mu was 1 over, thir one over 3, it was given, and 3G sine 30 is this one. Where there is G, we have put 9.8. So I think you realize that we have only one unknown and that is F. Therefore we have to make F the subject. When I simplify I'll come up with that. In other words this 3 times 9.8 will give me 29.4. Then this 3 times this. this must, so 3 times 9.8 is 29.4. Now where is this 3 coming from? That 3 is coming from this a third. This a third means that you multiply throughout by 3. So when I apply 3 by this, I'll come up with 3f cos 30 degrees. Then 3 by this whole expression, it will cancel. Then 3 by the whole of this will be 3 times 29.4. So that's where this 3 is coming from. 
Then when I make f the subject, I'll come up with capital F being equal to 33.1547 newtons. So that's what they wanted. Now let's see how much can be awarded. So M1 for resolving, another M1 for right hand side, and M1 for left hand side. A1 for output. So basically that's how the five masks could come about. So now we shall go to question three, which came from your name 2009, question five, and says, a body of mass 8 kilograms rests on a rough plane inclined at theta degrees to the horizontal. If the quotient of friction is mu, find the least horizontal force, not that word least horizontal force, in terms of mu, theta, and g, which will hold the body in equilibrium. Now when they talk about least force, it means the particles just at the point of more sliding downwards. So let F be the required horizontal force, then we shall come and draw our particle on an incline of theta degrees. The mass was 8 kilograms, so weight will be 8 g. Then the component of this weight per part of the plane will be 8 g cosine theta. Then the component perpendicular to the plane will be 8 g cos theta. Then the normal reaction will be capital R. Then the horizontal force is capital F, which is that. Then you also have to resolve that component of that force, horizontal force parallel and perpendicular to the plane. So resolving the force F parallel to the plane will give you F cos theta. Then perpendicular to the plane will give you F sine theta. So it's in equilibrium, meaning that it's a point of moving downwards. But they told us that the plane is rough, meaning there will be friction. If it's at the point of moving downwards, friction will act upwards. So we shall come and put our friction acting upwards. So before we go to the next slide, we shall give MB1 for the correct force diagram drawn using a ruler. So before that, resolving, when I want to resolve, So resolving parallel, parallel to the plane implies that these two forces will be equal to this single force. What about perpendicular? Perpendicular it will be R being equal to these two forces. So resolving perpendicular to the plane will give us R being equal to F sine theta plus 8G cos theta. What about resolving part of the plane? It will give us F cos theta plus mu R equal to 8G sine theta. Now we have two equations and remember they want us to get the value of capital F. So the first thing to do is to substitute for R so the whole of this will be substituted here to come up with this line. Then when I open brackets I'll come up with this line. And when I divide throughout by cos theta, I'll come up with that. For example, f, divide, f cos theta divided by cos theta, this cos theta will cancel. For this part, when I divide by cos theta, sine over cos will give me tan, which is that. Then for this part, when I divide by cos theta, this will cancel to remain with 8g mu. For this side, when I divide by cos theta, sine over cos will give me tan, which is that. So next is to factorize out f. So when I factorize out f, it will be this side and take this other one this side to come up with this. But remember, they want the value of f, so I'll divide, so I'll make f the subject to come up with f equal to 8g in brackets tan theta minus mu over 1 plus mu tan theta. So basically, that's what they wanted. Now let's see how much can be awarded. So M1 for resolving, perpendicular, this one for resolving and substituting, so it's on that line. This one for dividing through by turn, and this one for simplifying to get the required expression. So basically, that's how the five masks would come about. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with a set of questions still on motion on inclined planes involving an external force. So in this video we have dealt with only horizontal forces and the previous video we dealt with parallel forces. So in this exercise it will be on containing both parallel and horizontal forces. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and be reminded that the next video will be on the solutions for the assignment left in this video. So if you have not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video on the solutions has been uploaded. As well, thank you for watching and also if you know of any student who is not yet on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp so that you can all benefit as a family.